There it goes. So when you get into a woodlot and you gotta cut down that very first tree, sometimes in a woodlot like this, you got a lot of big trees. It's always hard to try and figure out what's the first tree I'm gonna cut. Because you wanna ideally get that first tree all the way down to the ground. So in this situation, you know, we picked a couple of really big trees, but there was a couple of small ones in the way. So sometimes you gotta figure out what trees are in the way, cut those first, then you can come back and do the real big one. And you know, ideally it's great if the tree can uh, stay alive, stay attached. Uh, you know, that's just a bonus. But uh, you know, if they break off, don't worry about it. It's not the end of the world. You know, the important thing is we're trying to get the canopy out because we want more sunlight down here in this bedding area. So, you know, if they uh, if they break off and they hit the ground, no big deal. It's uh, you just keep on cutting. You'll get better at it, especially if, you know, this is the first time you're going out there and you're hinge cutting for the first time. The main thing though that you gotta know is you gotta cut down some of these big trees first. If you cut down just these small ones, you know, like two inches to four inches in diameter, and you're not cutting down these big ones, what's gonna happen is your hinge cuts on those small ones are just gonna die because you're not removing the canopy. So no sunlight gets down to those hinge cuts. They're gonna suffocate and they're just gonna die. So. We've got to take down some of these big ones, bring in some sunlight, and then we work on the medium sized trees, drop those on top of here, and then we go to the small ones, create some perimeter cover, and, uh, and then we, after that we do the detail work and put all the aisleways through the bedding area and make sure those deer can navigate through, because if it's just a big mess tornado zone with no aisleways, they probably won't use it. So anyway, we're going to keep on cutting. Anything you want to say to the viewers at home? <laughs> <laughs> Always tough to get that first tree down. Yep. So here's what the neighbor's wide open hardwoods looks like as well as my client's woods until after we spent just a few hours hinge cutting for some bedding. We still have to go in and do the detail work, but when it's done, there won't be any doubt where deer will rather spend their time in a high hunting pressured area. So if you'll be hinge cutting this year, make sure you always wear the proper safety gear. If it's your first time, I recommend watching the hinge cutting safety videos first, which are in the description box below. If you're not comfortable cutting big trees yourself, my contact info is also below and we'll see if we can get you on the calendar. So stay safe and enjoy working on your property this year. Sunshine. <laughs>